Well, it's Alice's first uh, home test as captain, so we thought it was a good opportunity to come down here with some friends, some old Bedfordians, some current parents. Uh, just we hope to see him score a lot of runs. Fantastic. And um, what have you thought so far? Well, the weather's good. Uh, he won the toss. He chose the bat, so it's all going well. He's played a miss a couple of times, but he's looking increasingly solid. We're sure he'll do well. And what does it mean for the school to have the England captain as a former pupil? Uh, it's obviously fantastic. It's particularly good because he's such a good role model um, and also because he's still very interested in the school and comes back. Uh, and he represents everything that's good about the school, both in terms of his character and in terms of his obviously his talent and his application to the game. And do you ever talk to some of the current pupils about Alistair Kirk and what he means to them? Uh, we do. Um, I mean, Richard will say Richard was his coach uh, when we were at the school, when he was at the school, uh, sort of, what's that, 14 years ago now, something like that? Yeah. Um, and yeah, we talk to the boys. The boys have him as a hero anyway, so it's a great thing. Richard, just coming on to that, um, yeah. what was he like to coach and when did you first meet him? Uh, I first met him when he first joined the school as a young uh, music scholar, he joined the school and then when summer term came along he could tell straight away he was in his element. I coached him for one training session and I had him for one match as an under 14 coach and it was quite clear straight away the guy was quite special so he got promoted to the first team quite quickly. Did you give him any uh, tips on his technique? I taught him everything he knows, yeah, absolutely. In that one Partic session. Particularly that shot outside the off stump, which he sometimes gets, gets out to. Gets out to, yeah, that's the one. <laughs> <laughs> and then, can you remember that first match with him? Uh, how did he get on? Yeah, he, he opened the batting. He was my captain straight away. He got 47 not out against Haleybury when we were chasing down 85 to win. So I remember it very clearly. Yeah, he was he was class, um, but he really came into his own when the bowling came onto him a lot faster. I mean, it, he, he, he was, wasn't and being challenged at under 14 level, so promotion to the first team seemed appropriate. The uh, the uh, the following Tuesday, actually, after that game, it's a good story for Lords because the MCC turned up a man short. So Alistair was pulled out of a physics lesson as a 14 year old to play against the school, scored 100, and didn't play for the under 14s again. And uh, one of the, your former pupils is here today that used to hold a lot of records for Bedford, I understand. Um, but then that all changed when uh, Cook came along. Yeah, Alex, uh, um, Alex, that's his son. Ian Peck's here today. Ian held all the batting records for, what, probably about 15, 20 uh, years? 25 years. 25 yeah, yeah. years. And then Cookie came along and... Um, took them all in one fell sweep, really. We've done well to get Ian Peck here today because he doesn't like the fact that Alistair broke all his records. <laughs>